Good morning guys. It's another beautiful day here in my garden. And today is the last day of July, so I will show you a few orchids of mine for the month of um, July. And this is my July tour. This um, group in here are the mix of my dendrobiums, mostly dendrobium nobilis, and a couple of Australian dendrobiums. I'll show you. They're doing just great. I do not shade them in here because uh, look at that. Early morning, um, they get shaded by the eaves in the house, of the house. And um, later on, late morning and um, at noon, they get uh, two or three hours of um, direct sunlight, which are fine for them. They, they have a lovely colors. And they are growing just fine. Got lots of uh, growth. This one here is my Dendrobium Red Emperor. She's got uh, she's got three new babies right there. New basil kikis. One, two, and this is the third. I love them because they, they always have a um, fat um, base like that. But yesterday when I was watering them, and I tr I'm trying to reach to the, to the back of this other dendrobiums here and then um, I was I didn't pay attention and the hose um, broke the third kikis right here I was really mad at myself for not paying attention to the hose yeah and I put cinnamon in the top to dry out the the, the broken side of that thing so that it won't get um not no disease can get in there and draw in everything. So I just I'm um, hoping that this one would grow a couple of basil cakes in here too. Because of this traumatic event that happened to this little growth. Yeah. So every single nobilis here had at least two or three grow new growth. Except for the for the little ones. It's just uh, I started from Kiki's. They have um one or a couple that's growing, but I'm fine with them. Like this one. This is the Kiki and now it's growing two more. Yeah. It's really great. This one here. This is my um Angel Lacey. She's got plenty of new blue um new canes coming. Ah this, oh, that's right, the fancy angel lacy. Got one, two, three, four, five, six new growth for this season. Wow. And the growth of that baby there is already big and I have to turn it around to um to grow straighter. They're doing well. This is my um uh, dendrobium kurashiki. Tons and tons of new babies that's growing this summer. And underneath, I see at least a couple in there too. New basil cakes. This. She's a fragrant one too. Compact dendrobium. And she had another new growth right there. My dendrobium kingianum. That's the number 10 new growth for this season. Lovely. Let's see. I'm trying to move slow. They're growing fantastic, guys. I can't complain with my noble leaves. That one here, I don't like the leaves of that Dendrobium kingia, um, speciosum right there.
I grow that one as a seedling tiny and this is the second year that I grow this one and it's getting bigger yeah I can't complain with my dens they seem happy here and my big um, cymbidium here for new growth for this season I'm not, I'm not complaining yeah and the growth are growing nicely look at that this one's already getting bigger and this is the one of the two smallest one that one here right here big cymbidium we'll see what's going on there by the inspectably it got sun kissed the also the bulbs but I have four new growth right there one two three four something bit that one that's okay look at them I have my Hoyas here too and my gloxinias in the corner blooming nice I'll just show you. I don't want this video to to be too long, and to show you the the spotlight that I will choose. This is a dendrobium. Sorry, yeah. Dendrobium, dendrobium millennium magic. Look at the new growth in this baby. Okay. One, two, three, four five and plus one of this cake in here but I'm I suspected that this one would turn into a flower spike too just like the one over here it started that looking like um a kiki but it turned out to be a spike got one two three at least four or five buds in there yeah not complaining and my um, dendrobium um, royal, ah, genting royal, it's in spike again. Look at that. I'm not complaining. Spiking and then bunch of another um, growths right there and the, the other dendrobium falls. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm so excited. I will make a separate video of my um, Gloxinia. So, let's pan around. These are my Symbidiums. Look at my lines in there and the out. Outer lines of the shade house is my uh, are my symbiums. Yeah. Oh, my um, cattleyas that, that are in sheet they also grow. And you growth too, as well. Look at that with ants cultivating it. Yeah. And my Shumbukia tibicinis has a new growth. Let's see if I can show it to you. Oh, it's, it's dark. But there's a new growth in there, guys. It's right there. So, and my um, and Graycombs is Quipidali. I. There. It has a couple of new roots coming out since I um repotted this. Yeah, and it's getting bigger. I love that. There. And my um, Greycomb Leonis here. Got a third, third one growing. Kiki, yeah. It's one in the center. I thought it was a spike, but it's not. Obviously, it's a growth. Yeah, 
I'm not complaining. Yeah. And until now, this Tetlia here, the sheath, still growing bigger. No bud that I can see yet. But I'm very patient, so. And this. <laughs> this is awesome here. This is my Meltoniopsis, no name. I purchased this one maybe like um, six, seven months ago. Not sure, but I purchased with this one with um, extra new growth. And that new growth now, it's maturing and it's giving me flower spikes. So far, I counted um, three flower spikes. Look at that. There's one flower spike. Uh, you can see. The second flower spike, the third flower spike, gorgeous guys, I grow this one in the outdoor here in the shade house, it's amazing, this is the, the, the most beautiful Milton Newpsis that ever I ever grown, look at that, I think the secret is like, I didn't repot this yet, you know, I've been, um, I didn't really want to reap it yet because like, first of all, it wasn't, it wasn't climbing out of the pot and then, um, I usually reap at my, um, Meltoniopsis to, um, semi-hydro, but this one I didn't, so now it has, um, a lot of new growth as well. I have one, two, three, four four new growths since I got this one and then the, um, and then three spikes yep and it's just growing here outside with my other orchids that is really awesome melting yopsis so I was wondering maybe I would just leave them in a the pit moss oh my goodness and my my psychopedalum she didn't die you know she gives me this very fat new baby right here i'm i'm hoping this baby will have um buds i'll definitely shoot it to you if she gives me a bud and this is my um new the new growth of my um rex van Dilden. she's fragrant and she's um one two three four for new growth right here and this new one here it seems to be spotless yeah so cute and she's done her spike right here is, uh, is done and the new one is just coming along look at that that's some side branches awesome this is my practice um Katase tiny type of orchid and it seemed to like me. Look at that. It's growing and growing. I repotted it to um spagnomos, put a lot of, of um slow release fertilizer in there and keep the moisture so that it can grow as fat as she can. My um like Casti has a new growth right there yeah there's, there's lots and lots going on here but you know they are time consuming if I go to individual plants this one I, I repotted um, uh, maybe three three months ago four months ago that it has an, a new baby coming now and then uh, this one is just for me just a newly formed suitable this is um Ancidium Halo Firecracker New Year. Yep, doing 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 good. Very beautiful flowers. And I put this outside because um this is my um Insiclia cochleata. Look at that. That I got this one from Hauserman. 
she had um the uh, mealy bugs with her. I put her outside after I clean her up, of course. And there's um one, two, three, four, five new growths. Oh, six in the back. Six new growth, and she's still hanging into the her um three blooms. Yeah. We're going upstairs. This is my upstairs orchid area. This is um, the Mericophila grandiflora by Mericophila brisinia. Has another new growth. You can see it right there. This is the new one that grow in my care. It's getting big. And there's a new one right here. Awesome. It's my Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga. The new baby is growing in adulthood now. Look at that. Nice. And these are my potted... Um, these are young vandas and these are um, potted in lava rocks. 